Hello macOS web developers. In this video we will learn what localhost is and how to properly set it up and get running on a Mac OS system. I'll give you a simple example that requires a web server to retrieve data from a JSON file using Ajax, otherwise known as asynchronous JavaScript, to demonstrate why you need a localhost. Okay, let's, so let's check it out. So first of all, localhost is a host name that means this computer and runs on a runs a web server that exists on your computer. When you're developing web applications that require a server such as JSON files, you can test your work on the fly without an internet connection or uploading to an external server. Mac computers have the Apache web server pre-installed so all you have to do is test to make sure it started, then save files in a specific directory, and you're good to go. Let's see where to go to configure your computer properly. Okay, so first of all, if you look here, I currently have my Apache server running. Uh, so when I look up here on the web browser, it says localhost. Punch it in, it says it works. So what that's doing is it's pointing to uh, a file, a specific file that uh, has an HTML that says it works inside it. So if it does work like that, then you're, you know it started. If it doesn't, then what you need to do is you go up to your magnifying glass, type on terminal, and then you'll see this uh, little dialog box come up. So as you can see here, uh, it says this is the command sudo apache ctl start now if <clears throat> if it didn't come up like it's let's say uh let's just do something that would not run i'll just put that in there it says not found then you know that it's not started and then you would have to go to the terminal and start your apache let's go back to that again let's go back to terminal okay so you would have to just type this command in here, press start, and you would have to most likely put in your admin password in order to get it properly started. Then you go back, test it, put in localhost in your browser uh, address bar, and if once it works, then you know it's good. Um, so that's the first step. The next step is to be able to put in your files into the directory so that localhost will actually run those files. So what you need to do is you, pr you go, you open up your finder window here, you press command shift G together and you'll see this little dialog box, it says library web server documents, press go. Okay, so now you're in the documents folder that the local host is pointing to. So what you need to do is you press this little icon right here, <clears throat> then you're in the root Okay, so right here is the actual HTML document, index.html.en, that says it works. Okay, so now what we need to do is give ourselves permission. So in order to write files to this file. So what you need to do is you press Command I to open up the info bo box there, uh, info window I should say. Now go all the way to the bottom, scroll to the bottom, and you can see this little uh, lock icon. So you press the like lock icon, and you're going to have to press your admin password. Now I've already done this already. So punch in your, your, your uh, password, and then you're able to go in here and adjust these settings to make sure that it says for, for the wheel and the everything that you set it to read and write. Once you've done that, everything's good to go. Then you can start putting in files in. So as you can see, I've got this file called hello HTML. Now, uh, the this, like I said before, it comes pre-installed with the index HTML en page. So what you can do is you can copy and paste this particular file, paste it, rename it hello HTML, HTML. Then you can go, let's close this, go up to your browser, and you have localhost, punch in hello, which has the exact same HTML. If it says it works, then you're really good to go. Okay, so we know that our Apache set up, we have a little background information. 
Now let's look at the example that I've got for uh, Jason and Ajax. So <clears throat> what I have here is a really simple HTML page as well. And what I do, I have, I've got a folder, as you can see here, that I created and uploaded, and I've got uh, a bunch of files in there. So this one in particular is called Todos Ajax 2. So uh, what I do is once when I press this button, it comes up with a list of grocery list. So how did this work? And what's going on? Let's take a look at our uh, sublime text here. So I've got uh, my file here and uh, I've got a JSON file to do item JSON file which contains an array with uh, some objects. <clears throat> What's the properties description? Um, hard coded in groceries and a property name completed with a boolean of false. Okay, so then we go into we look at our JavaScript file, and basically what it's doing is this is why you need a server, is because you're creating an instance called XML HTTP HTTP request, and that needs uh, the server in order to run. So it's going to parse the JSON file here because right now the browser would only see this as plain text. Once it parses it, then it's actually going to uh, read it as a JSON file. Then it's going to go do all this JavaScript stuff. Uh, we can learn that in different videos, but not this one. <laughs> so um, yeah, so now let's go back to our page. We'll refresh um, and we'll press on the button here. And that's the JSON file.